ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Cheka Tu, Cheka Tu. Mwajio na jina hali. Salama, salama, kule salama. Mko viema. Basi mgeo kia jirani yake mwambie ume damshi. Kwa kingereza damshi, didn't you? Endo hivo. Na araka kidogo. Serious. Na nimekuja na karika karatasi. Kutokana na umri saa zingine nasahau kwa hiyo mzigo wote nimeandika hapa. Tunaenda speed kidogo. Nikisema Adam Shidin Tio tunashangaa hey, Adam Shidin Tio you know kiingereza gani hapana. Hii ni kwa sababu watu wanadhani kuongea kiingereza ndio yani watu wanadhani kuongea English ni kipimo cha intelligence. Hakuna kitu kama hiko. Unaweza ukawa unajua kiingereza kingi na ukawa ni boya. Boya kabisa. Nondo chache sana. Ni vitu tu ya 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 nini? Kiingereza ni sawa tu na kizaramo cha London. Au mimi ongeonga. Eh? Kwa hiyo kama unjui kiingereza sana usijisikie vibaya ni vitu vya kawaida. Kwanza hata hivyo Kiswahili ndio kitamu zaidi fitina titila pak halifai kwa mtindi. Hapo tunaongelea watu wenye romba. Kiswahili ni noma unachapa ilale. Uongo uongo. Hamna nilikuwa natania bado sijasahau. Kwa sababu yani kinasababisha ni kwa sababu process ya kujifunza Kiingereza ni ngumu kidogo kwa mfano. Mimi nilikuwa mdogo mwalimu anafunza sema this is me. Mimi namwambia this is me. Mwalimu anambia no zio this. Sema this is me. Mimi nasema this is me. Hapa naomba mniangalie kidogo. Mwalimu akasema sio hivyo unaposema this unatoa ulimi nje kidogo. Ngambe ah unatoa ulimi this. Okay kwa hiyo mwalimu akasema this is me nikasema this is me. <laughs> Nikalamba ewa. Kwani hatari ni nini? Si nilikuwa najifunza. Fresh, tuachane nayo. Naenda speed kidogo. Lakini shida sio kwamba ni sisi tu wa wa, wa nani wa Tanzania wa Afrika nini. Shida ni Wahindi ndugu yangu. Wahindi ni noma. Wakati tuko chuo ndugu yangu alikuja mwalimu mbia sema My name is Rajesh Kumar. I'll be teaching you literature. Na nini? From now on I'll be teaching you literature. Okay. Literature is the not that you do language creatively to convey human reality. Ah, yeah. Nikasema kozi tutaferi. Nilichosikia pale ni human tu. Akaandika ubao ni literature is an art that use language creatively to convey human reality. Ndio kusema hii ni convey human reality. Ndio kutu convey human reality. Hayo ni kazi. Tumeelewana hapo? Nikasema hii ni shida. Tutafeli hii kozi. Mungu tusaidie. Bwana. Lakini shida ni kwamba hata walimu shule wanavyotufundisha wanasisitiza speak English, speak English, lakini wenyewe kwao ni ngumu pia walimu wenyewe shule. Ili ujue ni ngumu wanapokuja kwenye zamu. Thank you. This week I'm on duty. Ah, uh, lakini kwa ajili ya form 1, ngoja tu niongee Kiswahili. Ha! Kwa ajili ya form 1 niongee Kiswahili. Inakuwaje mbona head master anaongeaga Kiingereza na form 1 wanaelewa? Uongo. Sasa kuna walimu wengine. Hey, you you know English? <laughs> It is fantastic. The way you please me, I have full glory coming down. Basi bwana. Kuna walimu wanaosema wanaosema okay kwa jili form 1 afu na wale wengine nasikia. Okay, thank you. This week I'm on duty. I don't want people to walk. Sasa we don't want people to walk tutaendaje darasani tutambaye. Oh, tok 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 in the laboratory. Ah, not in the laboratory in the classroom. Jija. Ah, Adi wewe ana kushinda lakini ili ujue kwamba mambo ni magumu akitokea mzungu amekuja shule utasikia jamani fanyeni haraka muiteni madam Eliot madam Eliot ndio wa Kiingereza ndio madam wanafundisha Kiingereza na watoto wenyewe wanajua jamani fanyeni haraka muiteni madam 
Madam unakuja pale speed kuokoa jazi. Sio ni kwenu ulikuepo hiyo eh? Weka kelele. Mwanangu kameanguka kwa sababu kichwa ni kikubwa sana ngoja kakae hapa. Tuachane na hayo. Kuna lile bao la nani? Bao la la, la English. Speak English. Ukiandikwa ile unaonekana kabisa wewe juu Kiingereza. Ukitolewa assembly demo yako unashanga hivi vile vingereza vyote vinavyoniandikia kwenye message vimeenda wapi mpaka anaandikwa. Unaonekana lazima washikaji ndio wamekuandikia. Tuachane na hayo darasa ni kwetu walikuwa hapo dada mmoja ana kiherehere sana. Kitu kidogo tu ameshawa hii ofisini. Kitu kidogo kawai kwa mwalimu. Sikio kawai kwa mwalimu kaenda kashtaki alimshtaki akaitwa ofisini. Eh imekuwaje? Jamaa alikuwa anapiga mayai usiju alisomaga nje. You know what sir? I, I don't know what happened because all the time if you talk just a little bit she just run to the office and say this time this time of lies kind of lies Mwalimu mwenyewe hicho alichongea yule dogo kimempiga usoni Na yule kimempiga usoni Mwalimu akamuuliza ehe Zena ya kweli hayo Zena ikabidi aseme mwalimu itakuwa labda ndio hivyo Kesi kaisha Kesi kaisha Achana na hiyo habari Tuachane na hayo Siku moja nikaenda ofisini kwa mwana na mshikaji wangu Idi Bonge. Nifika pale. Good morning. Eh, eh kwanza good morning cha wapi? Habari za size. Sekretari anapokea habari za size. Fine, thank you. Sit down. Nikasema fine, thank you. Sit down. Kiingereza gani hichi? Huyu anajishaua tu lakini hata kwa rasi simba hajafika huyu. Hichi cha tuition. Nikamwambia samani, sijui kama naweza nikaona na na wana hidi Ingeska do you have the, the appointment <laughs> Nikaona bora vingereza vingi lakini huyu kiingereza yake like kuangalia hivi uh, sio ni sign yote ya, ya ing, speak english Nikaona lakini nikaona kama ndio hivyo basi wacha tuchape mayai Nikamwambia I don't need an appointment because I made this long time ago when I'm on a month Hivyo ni vingereza alikuwa nataka nipite navyo kama hivyo Ingeska we baba kumuulizia mtu tu Kumulizia mtu ndio vingereza vyote hivyo. Ha. Come on time for my